guys, this is Kimmerman from Kimmerman Gunpla Studio. Today I have here my dog whose name is Lucky. Hi Lucky. And I have here a model kit from China which came from the company Infinite Dimensions. And this is none other than the Genesis. This is the Tactical Unit Commander Aircraft Genesis. So this is a model kit that was released in the year 2022 but I bought this last 2023 February 2023 and it cost me about uh, 2700 pesos I think here in the Philippines and today you cannot uh, find it easily in the market because of uh, other kits that came out after this so it was being dumped by the new models so you can find it rare and you can find it in Shopee it's around 3000 plus or 4000 something like that so it's overpriced as of this recording today is May 2024 so what I noticed with this kit is it has the same silhouette on almost all Chinese kits that you can see in the market. For example, I already built the Trailblazer, which has the same silhouette with this Genesis. So I'm really fed up with this kind of designs from China because Chinese kits almost has the same uh, silhouette. It's like they are joining in Santa Cruz and Festival like here in the Philippines due to the fact that most of their wings is very large or very large and looks extravagant. Anyway, too much for the introduction. Let's check this kit out and let's see what's inside this tactical uh, unit command uh, blah blah genesis. So the box art here shows the two side uh, box uh, art or box design so we have here the first scene here where you can see the big upper part or upper portion of the genesis you can see the uh, face the upper torso the shoulders and the wings and at the bottom you can see the transformation mode of uh, the mobile, mobile suit so this is the aircraft mode and the other side of the box we can see the Genesis full silhouette here where there is this uh, fighter mode and what I observed is that Genesis looks like the Zeta Gundam and at the same time with the silhouette and accessories of the Gundam Sentinel so it's like a combination uh, models for that two Gundams which is created by Chinese to avoid being sued by Bandai you know Chinese is very expert in copying kits that's why they combine all the kits to avoid being sued anyway the other side of the box we can see here the action poses of the genesis where he's flying and holding his gun there he has the handgun i'm very amazed with mecha with handguns very nice very badass and there you can see some uh, missile poses there the missile hatches on the back are open and uh, ready to launch there we can see also some bonus parts which are metal parts that is included in this first edition release of the model so this is the early release luckily i reserved this box from Hobby Wang, shout out to Hobby Wang, which is a very good store here in the Philippines, located in, where are they located? In uh, Divisoria, Manila, and uh, 
they have a Shopee page also where I bought this kit. There we can see the front view of the kit. He's holding uh, the rifle and the rifle is even taller than the kit. In the rear view, there, there's a, there are big wings there and some action poses and there the transformation mode. So it really looks like the Trailblazer because I think Trailblazer came after the release of Genesis. Okay, so let's go to the contents of the box. I already opened the box here. We have here uh, the instruction manual. Okay. Again, there, there's the macros that is uh, being repaired because the plastic quality is not nice. What the heck, Bandai? We're doing kits that has a brittle plastic parts. Anyway, we have here the instruction manual for the Genesis where we can see same as the box art design. And there we have the front view. This is the animated uh, printout for the Genesis. There is this front view, rear view, and uh, parts of the kits. Then we have what I appreciate in Infinite Dimensions in In Era. They have this portioned uh, index of parts here where you can uh, choose which part you want to build first based on your preference. Something like this. You have the, um, the guns and shield, shoulder armors, wings portion for the backpack and legs, waist, arms, torso and the head. So I'm planning to build first the chest unit or the torso unit followed by the head and then the rest. This is how I like to build my kit. So I appreciate how the in era or infinite dimensions print their instruction manual so nothing much with this manual it's only black and white and you can see some red shades there for the joint or the pegs where you can insert the pegs same like the supernova printout so i appreciate chinese instruction manuals nowadays because they are really improving unlike before where all their kits are like garbage and now let's uh, check the parts here we have gray parts for the inner frames another gray parts here for the leg frames and uh, as you can notice here the, these are the leg parts there is a metal counterpart included here in the kit we have here white parts for the armor pieces Another gray parts for the guns and inner frames for the shield. We have here black parts for the wings or binder parts, blue parts for the feet for the other armor pieces. And what I like here, there is a stand or action base included for the kit. So no need to buy from third party markets because you have already the stand included in this kit. There we have yellow parts and the clear green parts for some uh, windows for the kit. And we have their hand parts, interchangeable hand parts, which looks like Bandai hands already. We have red parts here and clear orange parts for mecha designs and uh, accessory details so we have blue parts here for the wing binders we have uh, dark gray or I don't know this is black parts for the inner frame parts white parts for the wings for the armor pieces another black parts for the wings and backpack and these are for the 
torso part, chest parts, and white parts for armor pieces. Finally, we have here dark parts or black parts for the shield and uh, I don't know which part is this. Maybe for the wings or shoulders. Wait, my dog is going to die. Let's pull up this dog. Then we have my fucking screws here, which I don't like to be honest. I hate kids with screws. It looks cheap and that's the reason why you call it plastic model kit because these are made of plastic but if you put some screws it looks like you're breaking the principle of calling it plastic model kit because it already has a metal in it anyway we have here the metal parts which I don't have a plan to use because I hate metals to the kits. Anyway, I will just keep this as a souvenir or a freebie. Let's just uh, check one part here, which is, I think this one for the legs. To be honest, it's heavy. It has a big amount of weight. And if you're planning to put this in your kit your kit will become heavy also due to the weight of these metals and so I will keep this and I don't have any plans of using this metal parts and if you want to buy it to me just comment on the comment section and I'm happy to sell this to you so this is Genesis metal parts here and we have here what's this this is the metal parts um, code or detailed uh, code numbers if you want to apply it to your kit and we have the foil sticker for the eyes you have two sets of eye sticker red and green and we have green mini stickers for the lenses there we have dry transfer decals and at the same time this card that you will going to apply or put here in the stand so there this will be your uh, design for your stand so as always let's have a quick runner review before we build the kit so we have here Let's start with these black parts here. We have runner R for the wing inner frame parts. Then we have runner B and another runner B. So we have two sets of runner B here for the black parts for wing inner frames. We have runner M for the white armor pieces. We have runner E for black parts, runner S, black parts, uh, runner F for black inner frame parts. Then we go to another black parts here, runner D and another runner D. So we have two sets of runner D here. We have two sets of runner J as well. This is uh, gray parts for inner frames. Then we have runner C and another runner C for the leg inner frame parts where we can see the parts here that has a metal counterpart included. So we have two sets of runner C. Runner K for the shield and the gun. And runner G for the inner frame parts of the waist then let's go to the white parts we have runner N two sets of runner M and we have runner O and another runner O so we have two sets of runner O for the blue parts we have here runner P 
runner queue and another runner queue so we have two sets of runner queue for this small frames we have runner U for clear green plastic runner V for this red detailed parts we have clear orange plastic for uh, shoulder designs and uh, what's this for the shield design which is runner W we have runner T yellow colored runners and finally the manipulator sets for the hands we have runner A and let's not forget we have here the metal frame parts but for me I will not use this and we have these stickers green and red stickers and uh, dry transfer decals and this design card for your action base stand and this is your action base stand and uh, yep i did not open this yet because i don't have any plans of using it so anyway this is kimmerman from kimmerman gampa studio and thank you very much for watching this review of my tactical unit commander aircraft genesis and see you next time on the review if i finish the build goodbye god bless and take care Pukulaks. Bye-bye.